You're on in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning and welcome to Calypso's Corner. As an arts in the basic curriculum school, providing a rich arts integration program within classrooms and throughout the school is a priority. The mission of Hilton Head Island Elementary School for the Creative Arts centers around the commitment of our staff to develop learners into responsible, world-class citizens through instruction and experiences that nurture the skills of creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication. What we try to do at Creative Arts is to incorporate art as much as possible in everything that we do because it's a way for the kids to really learn and just get that learning just so much deeper. Cute, obtuse, what else? And I love to get the kids engaged and happy to come to school and learn in different ways. We do a lot of movements, we sing, we interact with the arts in different ways to get them excited about learning. It's a line segment, it's nice and straight, it has a beginning and, a, and an end. We work collaboratively with shareholders to craft an arts-focused plan in alignment with our school-wide strategic plan to ensure that students receive a multifaceted approach to learning through the arts. This is accomplished through a combination of exposure to arts-integrated instructional strategies extracurricular club offerings in the fine and performing arts, and community events in which families actively engage in the wonderful opportunities that our school specifically offers. We were initially drawn to the school because of the arts-infused components of the education, which has, has exceeded our expectations. It's really been interesting to watch how the subject matters blend all the same topics and, and it all kind of works cohesively. They do these arts-infused projects every single day. All of the curriculum is based around the arts and we just we couldn't love what creative arts has done for our children i know creative arts has set our children up for success in the future and the school has fostered in latin uh, enjoyment for school she loves school and she has had some amazing teachers we've had a lot of teachers that have gone above and beyond what we initially expected and it's made a lasting impression on our children they enjoy learning they enjoy coming to school they like to read and from a parent's perspective that that's what you want to hear Creative arts teachers plan with our arts team to integrate meaningful connections between our core curriculum and the art standards. First graders begin each new topic of science with a teacher-facilitated, student-led investigation. Using flashlights and styrofoam balls, students begin exploring the effects of the sun to help the president solve the mystery of night and day. So someone was holding a flashlight still since the sun doesn't move, and the other person was holding the ball up spinning it very slowly. These investigations allow students to use prior knowledge, problem solving skills, and an experimentation to learn more about our world. We have been studying Black History Month and we have been working on an inventor named Garrett Morgan and the kids just kind of fell in love with him and so we incorporated everything we did with timelines this year, text features, and then they all did some writing about each of the different years and then we incorporated it with art. We were learning about Garrett Morgan and he was a famous inventor. He invented a sewing machine, a stoplight, and a gas mask. We were writing about the stuff and we were making the things that he made. We learned about Black History Month and we made mosaic art and we had a lot of cool artworks and we learned about Alma Thomas. She was beginning to be a teacher, then she retired. She started doing these artworks and she started to be 75 years old and one of her artworks are in the White House. We use small guided reading groups at Creative Arts because they provide differentiated teaching that supports students in their reading development. Good, we're gonna keep doing something. I select the guided reading groups based on reading levels, meaning that students are in groups with other students reading at a similar level. During a group, students are talking, reading, and writing about engaging books, while I teach specific reading strategies that will help students become proficient in reading. Do you know what that means, to ignore something? 
somebody? During our social studies curriculum, we also like to make sure that the kids get some action into what they're doing so they get an idea of what went on. So what we're doing currently is we're recreating the Constitutional Convention. Third graders at Hilton Head Island Elementary School for the Creative Arts are busy preparing for their grade level show. Ensemble and solo singing, group dances, and student narration are all part of the performance. Each class has their time in the spotlight during the show. A showcase during their preparation and performance, students at Creative Arts have collaborated through various arts and mediums to achieve a deeper understanding of expression and our place in the world, and the overall success we achieve through the theme of our performance, Best Self, Best Work, and Best World. In Technology Lab, we do a lot of STEAM-oriented hands-on projects incorporating robots, drones, VR, giving students the authentic hands-on experience so they can understand how engineering design is so important in our future. And the goal is for them to take this passion and move on to the middle and high school and maybe develop a career in the science, technology, engineering, art, and math fields because that is what our future is about. Here at Hillnet School for the Creative Arts, we want our students to be lifelong learners. So through our physical education program, we introduce them to a variety of skills and sports. Some examples would be swim lessons, golf, tennis, lacrosse. And then we are actually the only elementary school in the district with a pickleball court on site. So we are actually introducing them to the game of pickleball. And these are skills and games that they can take and play with them once they leave here, on into middle school and high school, and hopefully on into later on in their life. Ten. Ten. Do you know what you want? Here at Creative Arts, we have a great school store run by our amazing guidance counselor, Mr. Bustle. At our school store, we sell a couple of things. We sell pencils, erasers, earbuds, and squish balls, things you would use for school and things to play with. You can buy things by getting coupons, and you get coupons by doing good things for teachers, like walking in the hallway correctly and raising your hand in your classroom. We hope that you have a fantastic day at SCA. Now you are in the know with Calypso.